Okay, welcome back. What we're going to do now is set up uh, a first camera. So we're actually going to do two cameras for the sake of this exercise, but we're going to do one in this video, and that's going to be a static camera that automatically follows the plane around. Okay, and I'm just going to try and place it sort of somewhere in the middle of uh, the scene, and then wherever the plane goes, um, the camera's going to watch it. Okay, so for this camera, the camera we're going to use is a camera and aim and you create one of those by clicking on create cameras and you get camera and aim there it is and then what you want to do is just make sure that you're kind of happy with the position of it now it's already quite central in my scene which I'm happy with but I want it to be raised up because I want it to be kind of looking a little bit down at the plane so it'll be pretty flat, but slightly looking down. That's because all the detail in this scene is in the mountains. So the sky's all right, but it is a bit boring. Okay, so that's the easy bit. Then what I want to do, you'll notice that this camera and aim is made up. There is your camera, and there is your aim. And the way that these work, and the way that they're different from standard cameras, is that a standard camera, to make the camera look around, you would rotate the camera. But on this one, you can actually move the aim, and you'll see that the camera follows that. And that's really useful to us. So the other thing that we need to be aware of, if we have a look in Window Outliner, is that the camera this time comes in a group. So within Camera 1 group, we've got Camera 1, which is the camera, and Camera 1 aim, which is the aim. And we need to know about that to be able to get this to work. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get this aim on the plane on frame one. So make sure I'm on frame one, make sure I've got just the aim selected. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump into my top view. And I know my plane's over here, so I'm just going to put my aim on the plane. So I'm just going to aim kind of for the cockpit. So that's done it in my top view, but I also know that I need to do it in my front or side views because it's going to be too high or too low. So I'll turn my grid off. Press F so that I'm looking at um, my aim and I can see that my plane's down here. So I'm just going to move that down there. I'll press F to frame that up again and I'll aim for somewhere in the cockpit. So I'm now happy with the positioning of that. That is going to be looking bang at the plane. Wonderful. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is with the plane, uh, no, with the aim selected, I'm going to shift select the plane like that and then I'm going to press P and now the aim belongs to the plane so um, wherever the plane goes that aim is going to follow it okay and to show you what that looks like I'll show you how to preview it so you've got an idea of what this um, this step has done for us so I'm going to sacrifice my top view for a, a little while I'm going to click on panels perspective and I'm going to click on camera one and now this camera is showing what this camera here can see. So I'm just going to press 6 to turn on um, all the texture in. And then making sure that this is the active view, and you'll know which is your active view because it comes with this light sort of grey box around it. I'm then just going to press play. And you can now see that the camera is kind of automatically following wherever the plane goes, um, which is obviously a lot easier than having to keyframe it. And you can see that just because um, we've got a plane to follow a line, um, we've got a much more interesting camera shot. Oh, and the plane flies with the sun as well. That's going to look so good with the glow. Oh, what a happy fluke. Okay, so that's what that step has been all about. So it gives us a nice kind of wide shot of the plane um, that we can sort of cut between with the next shot we're going to do. Wonderful. So assuming you've got that step done, I'd like to see you in the next video where we're going to set up um, another plane which will be like um, a little bit behind it, like seeing the plane in a third person sort of view. Okay, so I will see you in the next video for that.